Orchard Park, New York. It's week eight of the NFL on EA Sports. of the National Football League is on the air. A few moments ago, to the delight of this Buffalo crowd, it was the Bills racing out of the tunnel as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. And he is out of bounds here on the return. Out comes the offense for the Bills, led by their quarterback at six foot five. That's Josh Allen. And what I loved about meeting with him before the game. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. He's brought down. At the These are his numbers from last week's contest. 17 carries, 79 yards. Well, this is where it becomes a challenge for the offensive coordinator. He's got a bell cow at tailback right now. Number three in the league in rushing within shouting distance of the, of the lead. But at the same time, if the passing game is open, he's got to take advantage of that, too. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Brings up third and two. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots. D on third down. From the gun, Allen. He's got it complete to Stephon Diggs. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Allen to Diggs there for a Buffalo first. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Allen going to give this one to Singletary. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Lawrence Guy able to bring him down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. It's complete to Diggs. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. 48-yard line. On first down, Singletary. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. John Simon in on the stop. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. That's the game of four. Allen from the gun on third down. And that's complete to Croft. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. They'll run on first down. Singletary, and he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 11 yards and a Buffalo first down. What I enjoyed most about watching Devin Singletary as a rookie, and he had a nice campaign, 775 yards on the ground and a rushing average in the top five in the league last year, is that what I saw in college transferred to the NFL. Continued to make the first tackler miss, whether he's in the hole or on the perimeter. I expect him to get to 1,000 yards rushing this season. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. Flushed out right. And he's going to keep it here. And out of bounds right around the 20. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. On second down, here's a run with Singletary. And he's going to take this down close to the first as he's brought down at the Patriots' 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Allen now on first down. 
Forced out to his left. He'll run it. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line. Second and goal. From the four-yard line. Now Allen, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Tyler Croft, his second touchdown on the field. And he likes touchdowns, not field goals. Now your field goal kicker, you've got to make sure you nurse him through and say, okay, don't worry about it. When we need you, you've got to be ready to go. And the team, of course, loves to see points on the board. So let's see if it changes a little bit in the same spot again. Yeah, we'll see what the decision is here if they get to that spot. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. The throw over the middle, take it in. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. on the play. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. The drive keeps moving. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. After one, 7-0 on EA Sports. Bill 7, Patriots nothing. To throw on second down is Newton. This one complete to Mohamed Sanu. Newton's Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poyer. And he's got some space here. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. The mark of day right about the one-yard line. A great pick. Nice return, but you know he's just beating himself up inside for not getting all the way in. No doubt about it, because he had visions of end zone in his mind. Going to be the total hero. But we did see there the emphasis on it's not just good enough to pick it off anymore. Bring it back, get the yardage, and really help out your offense. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal. They'll look to run with Moss. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Buffalo. Zach Moss, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. And nothing special there. They show they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Full touchdown. So decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. The 26 yard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to set up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is just going to gang up on the run and set them down. The Buffalo offense and Devin Singletary heading back out there. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. 
you've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield, maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, he's establishing not just a tone, but an identity for his team. And that's a discussion we had a couple days ago in the team meetings, talking about this running game, opening up the passing game. We'll see if that continues to happen. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. So nothing there on the screen that time. That means all that great acting they tried on offense went for naught, didn't it? Because you have to try and influence them. Make them think that you're doing something else. Make them think that they can get to the passer by letting them by and then setting up the screen and getting downfield. Didn't happen at all. Give a lot of credit to the defense for not tumbling to that one. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Singletary. Singletary loses it. Wow. That ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. That's good. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. On first down, Allen. And it's knocked away and incomplete. Intended for Stephon. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Throwing again, Allen. And the grab by Croft. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. It's a gain. The Bills on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This will be third and five. Escaping the pressure right. He may try and run for this. Another Buffalo. How many times do we hear that third down may be the most important down in football? And there's no better example than what we just saw right there. Forced to scramble, knows where the first down marker is, dives for it, and gets it. What a big time play putting his body on the line to pick up a key first down. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Allen's throw is complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and six. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. He'll wind up getting four yards there on his own, but it also brings up fourth down. Well, partner, nothing comes open here, so he decides to escape out of there, and he doesn't pick up a first down, but he does gain additional yardage to set up a possible field goal attempt if they decide to go that route. They're going to run for it. It's Moss. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. That's good. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. Two minutes to play, first half. It's 14 to nothing. Coming up at halftime, we remind you once again that we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL as we reach now, hard to believe, the halfway point of the season. Time flying. It certainly is. Time to get the sweaters out, my man. The veteran Jason McCourty up to make the tackle. Coming up on second and seven. Second and seven at the Patriots' 16-yard line. And now they'll throw with Allen. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And seven. Throwing is Allen on third. This will be caught at about the six. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Goal at the one-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions. And, and he fights his way into the end zone for a Bills touchdown. Josh Allen with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bills will add on to their lead. 
Instead of having to play follow the leader there, the leader led. I like that. And, and he likes who does it. Street cred, and then when they go out to dinner afterwards, he's still picking up the check. Extra point right down. They need him touching the football in any way possible. Maybe go to some jet sweeps. Anything to get him going. Yeah, something to get him the ball. We'll see if they can do it. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. A shotgun snap for Newton. He gets it to James White. And shutting him off, now open field. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. He'll fight his tight end here, Asiasi. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Looking to throw again on second down. Newton, he's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Julian Edelman as the first half is winding down. And the Patriots get a score closer. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. Play action. It's Newton. And the Bills are going to get him as he goes down. Jerry Hughes in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Still 15 yards to go. Second down. From the gun, here's Newton. That's caught over the middle by Asiasi. The reception good for seven. It's third down. A seven-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. Throwing on third down, Newton. Caught by Sanu. And he's going to be stopped here a few yards. Put them in a tougher spot. You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Catch number 40 for him on the year. It's a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he finds Beasley complete. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And tough sledding. You'll get maybe a yard, stop short of the 35. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. On third and short, the fullback DeMarco. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. Two yards and able to get the first down in the process. Third and one. Who are you going to call? Not the scat back. You go with the big man. Hand him the ball and let him get upfield and pick up a first down. First and ten. And they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brings up second and five. They'll go again here with Moss. 
And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 11 yards there, first down. So from the 17 now, here's the first and 10. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, second down. No gain on the play. We're in the third quarter in upstate New York with a second and 10. Back now in Buffalo. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. Dancing to his left. They'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Four brings up third. The Bills on third down. Six conversions and nine tries. They've done a great job of picking these up. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Allen. Flushed out right. He may try and run for this. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. Escaping the pressure right. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. I know he was trying to get the completion downfield, but the way this game has gone, with a few of the runs he's made along the way, he should have kept the ball and taken it with his feet downfield. That's the big play that shreds a deep. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The quarterback taken down. A big play forthcoming. Here's third and goal. A loss of seven. Brings up third down. Here's Allen. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Intended for Stella. He's taking an awful chance with the football right there. You've got a lead, you've got to protect it, and he's taking chances, putting it out there in a little bit of jeopardy. Especially in a spot like this, fourth quarter, as you said, trying to cling to that advantage. Yeah, that one probably should have been picked, huh? Well, they're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty is not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Bills will add on to their lead. Sometimes a group that gets overlooked, certainly, the offensive line. Right there, they really... Big in the fourth quarter. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. He'll set up to throw from the gun. That's complete right side to Asi Asi. Seven yards to pick up on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. At the 32-yard line. Out of the gun, Newton. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Operating from the gun, Newton. And this is going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. They'll run for it. This is White. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. But no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. From the gun, Newton steps away to his left. He's going to take off with it. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. So an instance there of Cam being Cam. We know he can use his legs. And with that big body, it's hard to get him down, even if you get a clear shot on him. Plus, he moves it a lot faster than what people think. And boy, does he have fun playing the game of football. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four. 
at the Bills 32 yard line. Throwing again on second down. Newton. He's got Lacoste, his tight end. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26 yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now a first down throw for Newton. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. A.J. Epinesa in there to record the second sack of his young NFL career. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football before he knew it. He was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. 14 yards there on the pickup, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Here's Newton. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Coming up on a second and six. Second and goal at the six-yard line. To the air again, Newton. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Devin Austin. Here comes Josh Allen in the Bills offense back onto the field. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So there's one person he can lean on. He's got to lean on that guy right now. First From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now Allen going to give it to Moss. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Dante Hightower on the stop. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. It's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And the grab by Croft. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Tyler Croft, his second touchdown of the game, his third of the year. And the Bills will extend their lead. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fourth. This has been frustrating for them to this point. They have not looked the same as they did coming in, riding that impressive six-game win streak. On first down, it's Newton. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and ten, again from the 25-yard line. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. And Oliver. And Oliver, that time, the one to get in there and bring him down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Operating from the gun. Newton. And that is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a scotch of credit for hanging in there and trying to make... He rifles one that's intercepted. Levi Wallace with a pick. 
sets them up beautifully already in the red zone. And you can hear it all the way up here. Oski, Oski, everyone turned to block, find a spot, and now they're set up inside the red zone for their offense. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Devin McCourty picks it off. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. At their own one-yard line. Following the interception, here's Newton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. To throw again. Newton. That's caught by the tight end, Lacoste. And he gets this up just shy of the 15. On first down, Newton. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. Intended for Matt Lacoste. Incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Throwing again. Newton. It's caught. This is White. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. On second and 10, Newton completes it to Lee. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds remaining. The second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Throwing again is Newton. Oh, they would have gotten the conversion if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. The, ball the Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. Patriot first down. Now Newton on first down. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi there. And that'll bring up second down. Second and 10. To throw again. Newton can't fight it. He lost the football. It's out. Now this is picked up by the Bills. I'm the best in the game. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone. Sealing it with a defensive touchdown. Bill. Huge, huge play by the defense, not only to force the fumble, obviously, but to return it for a touchdown. And I know it's no fun for anyone who plays offense, but isn't it fun to see how a defense rallies when there's a fumble return and everyone tries to find something? So for Buffalo, the win here means it'll be a 7-1 first half of the season. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Seattle Seahawks come to town. Meanwhile, for New England, they fall for the first time this season after six wins to start the campaign. And they'll try and turn things around next week as they have a date at MetLife Stadium with the New York Jets.